guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having a wonderful day today we're going to talk about the mask that i used last monday which was the peter thomas roth rose stem cell bio repair gel mask i did try this out a few more times after using it the first time last monday uh last monday i felt like it did an okay job i was like pretty amazed with how it felt on my face i thought the smell of it was really good and i thought that it did make my skin feel a little more hydrated but I noticed after using it several more times, I tried it as an overnight mask. I put a little bit more on and left it on overnight. I put it in the refrigerator and did it as a cooling mask. And I've tried it just as a regular mask three other times. But honestly, I'm going to tell you now that I feel like this mask is okay. I don't feel like it's the best mask that I've ever tried. If you're looking for something hydrating anyway. This is not a very hydrating mask. I don't feel like it does a great job of hydrating your skin. My skin afterwards didn't feel like super nourished. It, it felt cleaner and it felt more vibrant. So if you're looking for something to make your skin feel clean and, and like look a little more like vibrant and alive, then this is going to make your skin look that way. But if you're looking for something that's going to make your skin feel very hydrated, I don't feel like this is the mask for you. I don't feel like this is the mask that's going to make your skin hydrated enough to where you're going to feel like you don't need a moisturizer honestly after using this I actually would end up having to apply extra moisturizer because my skin felt almost squeaky clean and that to me is a sign that you're taking too much oil out of your skin but when I did put it in the refrigerator I did feel like it did a great job so if you're looking for something that's like nice and cooling that's a nice idea to put it in the refrigerator and put it on your face it makes your face feel nice and cool and ready to go throughout the day so I think it is a good mask. I don't think it's a bad mask whatsoever. I just don't think it lives up to everything that it's saying, claiming to do. I don't think it will make your skin hydrated enough to where I would say this is a hydrating mask. I'd say it does make your skin look more brighter. I don't feel like it did a good job of like where it says it's going to make your lines look less visible. I don't think it did that either because it's not hydrating enough. When your skin's hydrated, that's what's going to make your skin look like you have less wrinkles and less lines. So, and I don't feel like this did a great job with either one of those properties, but for brightening it to do a good job with that. So, I will continue to use this to brighten my skin, but I don't think I'm going to use this for hydration. So, other than that, I think this is a good mask. So, if you're still interested in looking at this mask, just keep in mind that I don't think it's a very good hydrating mask. So, now we're going to move on to the next mask that we're going to try out from this set, and it's the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Mask. And here's what the container looks like. It's a little gold mask. I'm excited to try this one, honestly, because it's gold and every girl likes gold and diamonds. <laughs> so anyway, this mask, when you open it, let's see if I can get the little plastic top off. When you open it, it does look like that when you first open it. It's nice and jelly-like. And I don't scent, I don't smell an, a very strong scent you know, coming from it immediately, it may be different once I've applied it to my face. So this one here is going to work the same way. It says for to apply it to clean skin, remain on the skin for 5 to 10 minutes, rinse thoroughly in warm water. Use 2 to 3 times a week as, or as desired. So I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to take my little brush, push my hair back enough to where it's not going to be in the way, and put some of this on my little brush here and put it on my face. So... And then we'll talk about what this mask is supposed to do for your skin. I'm going to try to keep it away from my eyes. And I still don't smell anything coming from this mask. So I don't think this is a strong scented mask. If you're one of those who are sensitive to scents, then this is going to be great. Because I don't smell anything at all actually coming from this mask. But the gold looks pretty cool. I don't know how thick you're supposed to apply it, so we're just going to apply as much as I can till it. It feels like it's nice and covered. Get a little bit more. And then now apply it onto my forehead. And once we're covered, then we're going to leave it set for 5 to 10 minutes. And then while it's setting, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on my phone so we can do a little bit of research about this mask to see if it tells us anything else that we don't know already from what the bottle says and from what I can feel. Okay, so there the mask is applied. And now I'm going to put the lid back on. 
so that the mast doesn't get any kind of bacteria growing in it. <laughs> I don't want to leave it open for a long period of time. Um, let me read a little bit about what the bottle says on it itself. It says this is a ultimate luxurious anti-aging treatment with 24 per, t pure 24 karat gold and collided, collided, collide gold help to lift and firm and parts an opulent gold re-energizes re the skin um, it has caffeine to help tighten the appearance of skin revitalizes it lifts firms brightens smooths and refreshes so this is not a moisturizing mask so this this one again is another one that i'm gonna already tell you that it says on it specifically that it's not a moisturizing one this is one that's supposed to help lift firm and brighten your skin so let's see what it says on the internet about this one because um, I don't know too much about this mask itself, to be honest with you. Honestly, I didn't know too much about any of these masks until I started using them. So let's learn together. So the 24 karat gold mask um, is going to be $80. That's going to be the full size price of it, and that's for 5 ounces. This little container here is 1.7 ounces. Is that what it was? Pretty sure that's what you, yeah 1.7 ounces and you do get five of these in your set for $75 so if you're looking at trying a, a multitude of masks I would recommend picking up the set or if you're looking at spe specifically getting one mask this one here will cost $80 so it is a little pricey for a mask um, and let's see what it says on here about it it says this is recommended for all skin types this mask is alcohol and oil free this lavish pampering treatment helps to improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for a youthful complexion. Caffeine helps to tighten the look the firm and firm the look of skin while Periodot, an exquisite gemstone rich in magnesium, re-energizes re and helps to reduce the aging effects of, of stress. So this is a mask that you would use to de-stress your skin. If your skin's kind of stressed out from like whatever you've been using on it, this is supposedly supposed to kind of like de-stress your skin. So... It has 24 karat gold to of an opulent, but I don't know why they keep saying opulent. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. It's a radiant glow and locks in moisture for an ultra hydrated skin. So here is actually claiming that it is hydrating. So we'll see. The bottle doesn't claim that, but the um, Sephora website does say that. So we'll see what it how it um, holds out to be true. So now we're going to wait for about 5 or 10 minutes, and then I'm going to come back on here and rinse this mask off and tell you guys how it made my skin feel and whether or not it worked and then as what I did with as for what I did with the uh, rose mask I will use this for a week and try it different ways and then come back on next Monday and tell you guys how it felt like different ways and after I've used it for mul multiple times so that you know that okay you know she's tried it you know several times and this is her final final opinion on this product so other than that I'll be right back in about two seconds on here but in real life it'll be about five or ten minutes so thanks for watching and hang on one second okay guys it's been 10 minutes so now the mask is set on my face for 10 minutes and my face looks very nice and glowy and golden and it looks it feels actually pretty good too it doesn't feel like it's very hydrating though so I didn't think that was going to be the case because the bottle itself didn't say it was hydrating I do feel like it's kind of like tightening though so if it, it feels like it's kind of pulling back a little bit but the gold on my skin itself is kind of nice because I'm hoping that will make my skin look nice and glowy once I've taken this off. I do feel like it thickened up a lot on my skin. So I feel like it kind of like thickens as it sets. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't feel like this one stays, I don't know, like a um, gel consistency. It feels like it gets a little more thicker onto your skin. So I am going to go rinse this off now and come right back and let you guys know how it feels once I rinse it and how it, how it did come off my skin, whether it was hard to get off and everything like that. So... I'll be right back guys. Okay guys, so I've rinsed this mask completely off my face. I am going to tell you that this mask was really, really hard to get off. It was even harder than the rose mask to get off. So I did end up having to take a warm washcloth and kind of like help to move the product around. Because if you didn't do that, I feel like the product felt like a very thick lotion that was just moving all around your face. Even with the warm water, it was just not going anywhere. So I did end up having to take a washcloth. So I do recommend if you're going to use this try to get it off if you can with the water but if it doesn't work then go ahead and get yourself a warm washcloth and help to remove the rest of it it didn't make my skin red or anything 
it feels a little red right in here but I don't know if that was because I had to kind of rub a little bit harder to get it off I don't feel like that the mask caused that my skin does feel very soft right now and it looks a little more radiant which is awesome because I love radiant skin um but other than that I don't feel like it does anything that was too dramatic that I'm like oh my gosh yeah you know this is the best mask on first use I do need to use this mask a little bit more so that I can let you guys know any further detail on it so like I said I will continue to use this mask for the next week and try it out in different ways to see if it does anything different or if it makes my skin have any kind of reaction but right now as first impression I would say that this mask is good but I don't think it's worth the $80 so far so I, that might change you know by next week so stay tuned for that information but right now I feel like it's just good. I don't feel like it's fantastic. It does feel good on my skin. It does feel nice and like smooth and clean and it feels nice and soft. But I don't feel like it moisturized enough to where I would say it's a moisturizing mask whatsoever. Um, other than that, I will continue to use it. I don't know if I can, let me see if I can zoom you on so you can see what my skin looks like up close. Again, I mean, I still have some acne scarring and everything going on. And that looks a little more red right now, honestly. And I didn't notice that right away. But it does look a little more red. And I don't know if the mask caused that. And then this area is red. But like I said, I don't feel like it's done anything dramatic to my skin, you know, as upon first use. But it was only on for 10 minutes. So you've got to give skincare a little bit more time than just 10 minutes. It's going to take a little while sometimes. It kind of seeps into your skin and then you notice a bigger difference the next day. So that's why we're going to start doing any kind of masking reviews that I do on this channel. That I will use them and give you guys a first impression and then come back on the next week and give you guys a better detailed review on that mask. So that it gives me that whole week to use that mask and try it out and see if it's doing anything good for my skin whatsoever. But other than that, I feel like it's good. Um, for $80, I'm not sure I'd spend $80 on this mask. I'm not sure I'd spend $80 on any mask, to be honest with you, though. But getting them in a set like I did for $75 for five of them, that's not bad to me. So, and it gives me a chance to try out different ones and figure out which one is going to be best for my skin. So, if you're looking at getting this mask, I would recommend trying it out maybe in a small size first. Because right now, I'm just feeling like it's kind of like a little bit gimmicky. I feel like it's just, you know, the gold, the gold flex in it that make your skin look nice and you know radiant and what or whatever but I don't know so we'll try it out for a week and then I'll come back on here and let you guys know my final thoughts on this product so as for now we're going to end this today and let me know if you have any opinions or thoughts on this product let me know if you've tried it and what you had what kind of results you had with it whether or not you think it's definitely worth $80 maybe it's just because I've only used it this one time for 10 minutes and that I haven't seen what it can fully do for my skin. So other than that, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys tomorrow.